Hello there, Mayor, Mayor Pro Tem, Council members, and members of the public. My name is Tatiana Arnaud. I am your city engineer. Uh, and this presentation is for the agreement to Unlimited Engineering Contracting Incorporated for the Thompson Park, Johnson Creek Park, and Sierra Linda Park Improvements Project, PW22-100. So the recommendation today is that the City Council approve and authorize the following for a total of $1,021,068 in project funds for the Thompson Park, Johnson Creek Park, and Sierra Linda Park Improvements Projects. Uh, specification number 22-100. Uh, the first recommendation being that the mayor to execute agreement A-8487 with Unlimited Engineering Contracting incorporated in the amount of $850,890 for the project. Number two, a project contingency amount of $85,089 for the project. And finally, number three, a project allocation amount of $85,089 for the engineering inspection survey and project management for this project. So as far as these three parks go, um, the existing playground equipment at all three have uh, not just reached the end of their useful life, but are well beyond that at this time, and so are very much in need of replacement. Uh, this new playground equipment will not only help enhance the amenities at each of the parks, but more importantly, will also enhance the safety of the children using the new playground equipment. Uh, the work does include the removal and disposal of the existing playground equipment and surface coverings and replacement of that with new playground equipment and surface coverings and any other associated work to get these new playgrounds uh, in place. Uh, following this, I'm going to be showing you a few pictures. So here's Sierra Linda Park uh, with the existing playground equipment. Uh, as you can tell, it just simply looks old, but in, in addition to that, it's become a safety hazard. We have some plywood that's holding some of these things together at this point. Uh, and quite frankly, it just needs to be replaced. Here we have a few more pictures of Sierra Linda Park. Here's Johnson Creek Park. They look very similar. Uh, they were installed roughly around the same time. And again, they're all at the end of their useful life at this point. Uh, here's some more pictures of Johnson Creek Park. And over here at Thompson Park, uh, as you can see, we don't even have a second swing on that swing set. There's just the one with some uh, makeshift padding under it. and. Uh, this playground with the slide also has some plywood. So again, it's just time to to replace these and and just enhance this, the amenities here and the safety for the children. Uh, here's one last picture of some of the existing playground equipment at Thompson Park. So as far as the bids go, uh, we did um, publish the notice inviting formal bids on May 26th with bids due on June 22nd. Uh, we received uh, just one bid from a limited engineering contracting incorporated in the amount of $269,730. Uh, um, there were 10 plan holders total for this project, and the bid that we received was actually lower than the engineer's estimate. Um, we believe that the limited bidder response may be attributed to the size of the project, um, and we do understand that, that they are actually com competing with other projects that uh, were available for bid around the same time. At least that's some of the feedback we got from the plan holders that did not submit bids. Uh, we do have past experience working with unlimited engineering um, contracting in particular. Uh, they actually did the Durley Park playground equipment installation and um, they're very much a fit and capable contractor to do this work. Uh, and so we would like to award to them uh, at this time. So. Uh, the, while the award is based on the base bid only, there were a number of additive items uh, that were identified as part of the bid. We wanted to do this to make sure that we're able to at least at a base level replace the equipment, but if we had enough funds to do other upgrades while we were at it, um, you know, this is our opportunity to do so. And again, because the original estimate um, or the bid that came in was well below the anticipated estimate, we're able to put in a lot of these additives. And so we did um, include about $581,000 of additional equipment for each of these parks for a total of $850,890. Uh, so that's why you see a price difference there from the recommendation to this slide. Um, and so with that, we did find Unlimited Engineering to be the lowest responsive bidder for the project, and we do recommend that we award to them for this project. Uh, again, just kind of going through the cost implications for this. So the agreement is for $850,000 with the limited engineering with the project contingency of 85,000 and another 85,000 for the engineering inspection survey and project management for it. Uh, there is currently $395,000 available from the HERO Fund. Uh, we also have another $1.1 million roughly in a playground replacement project uh, that we are able to use on this. 
that does conclude this presentation. Uh, thanks for listening. I appreciate you taking the time and I'm happy to answer any questions.